So last week I shared an article about uh, how somewhere over on the West Coast, I think it was a Los Angeles construction site, a uh, individual had climbed up a tower crane after hours, wasn't supposed to be there, he was trespassing, and fell to his death. Uh, the article talked about how this is a growing problem. Um, I think in my share I mentioned that it's not just on the West Coast, this is happening all over the place. We've seen it here on the East Coast a bunch as well. Uh, and I mentioned in there that we actually had designed our two camera system was initially designed for that purpose uh, with the intent uh, to be used at the base of tower cranes. And I just thought it might be helpful to show you guys what that system looks like and kind of it in action. This is our two camera system. As you can see, it's got two cameras on the side. It's got the speaker on the uh, bottom and then the red and blue flashing light. And so what I would like to do is I just, I have another one here that I strapped up um, up here on this rack. <laughs> um, excuse the flashing lights there. Joe's doing some testing. Uh, but this is just a unit that just came back in. It's getting cleaned up, getting ready to go back out in the field. Um, it is very haphazardly strapped up there with some zip ties, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looks and sounds like and what it sees. So let's just assume for a minute that that is up on a tower crane. And give me just a second. So I wanted to show you that I've got that same camera pulled up here live on my uh, computer right underneath. So as you can see, you can see this whole area here. Uh, if we're inside of the base of the tower crane and we're looking out over that base, we're now seeing if anybody comes in and, and breaks that perimeter line. This one actually has a, on the right hand side, that's a 45 degree lens. I'd probably actually widen that up to a 90. But take a look over here on the bottom left. As you see me move into the view, you'll see the red, I'm trying to stretch out, uh, you'll see the red arrows that highlight, shows that there's movement. That just detected activity. And then I've triggered an alarm that comes into our surveillance center. And the agents would have then in their software pressed a button that would have caused this. So at the same time that that's happening, the original intent, the uh, initial intent is hopefully to scare that person off. It works most of the time, I'll tell you, uh, but sometimes it doesn't. And in that case, we are then picking up the phone, we're calling the police and they're on the way. We're letting the project manager know, the superintendent, that hey, you have somebody getting ready or in the process of climbing your crane after hours and let's get this situation under control before it leads to one of those newsworthy insurance claimable type events um, that nobody wants to deal with. So I hope that helped out uh, with a, you know, a little bit of a view of what that system looks like. And if we can ever be of assistance, more than glad to help you out. So give us a call. Uh, go to the website at www.mobilevideoguard.com or you can call the office at 301-955-9782. Three, All right, everybody, have a great day.